What is going on, YouTube fam? Thank you for uh, dropping by. This is uh, Mr. Urban Survivor Guy channel. And to all my subscribers, this might be something that you might not even like be interested into. Cool. This is something like um, pretty much for all the other YouTubers out there or other people on YouTube who's who was thinking of maybe becoming a, a YouTuber himself. And so I'm just going to go ahead for this, like for the new people, like go ahead and uh, tell you my story of how I got monetized and what's how much I'm making after one year uh, being monetized on YouTube, okay? So yeah, you know, if my old subscribers, if they don't want, you know, they're not interested, cool. You know, like I said, I have to go ahead and, this is a broader audience. So it might be something that, uh, you know, they already listen to and stuff like that. So, you know, bear with me, man. I'm The subscriber count is going higher and higher. So I'm reaching a higher, like I'm, I'm reaching a different demographics of people. And, um, so, enough with the intro. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. So, I was telling my audience, I've been like kind of double dabbling in YouTube for over 10 years. I mean, I tried it a little bit, but you know, it, it takes time and energy and effort. And that was what I didn't have during those time. I didn't really care too much about it. It was like, okay, let me just try it out. But you know, I was working a regular job, getting a paycheck. And um, so off and on, I didn't see any success at all, you know? And so like maybe about a year ago, my brother, he started a YouTube channel for his business and it was growing and he finally got monetized. And he told me, he was like, yeah. And he was so happy. He said something about the first time he got a check from YouTube for was for like seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got to hit reality, folks. I mean, your first paycheck or the first time you get monetized, a lot of times it's not going to be that much unless you got a big follower. And so he definitely spent more than seven bucks in time, effort and money to buy the equipment to record and this and that. And so he was my motivation. Because I, like I said, I've been trying for like 10 years off and on. And I just saw that, you know what, in my life, I'm like 50 years old. I was getting sick and tired of the rat race. I was sick and tired of doing the same old thing, working just to pay, make enough money to uh, live to the next week, you know, paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. And so it's like, I had to try something new. And, uh, you know, YouTube was a possibility. I mean, I heard... I mean, you got to see it, Mr. Beast and all these other YouTubers making millions and billions of dollars. And it's like, man, dude, I just want a little piece of the pie. I don't even want that much. And so um, I put all my time and effort. I put a lot of time and effort into getting my YouTube channel monetized. I mean, I was paying people to record my videos. I was doing food delivery, taking that food delivery money and just keep on pushing for people to uh, put in my content. And uh, like, I want to tell the public, like this camera that I just bought, it took me a year of savings just to get this camera. I didn't have the proper equipment uh, when I started about maybe uh, a year ago. I just had an old phone. And if you saw my old video, it's just like, yeah, I'm just recording from a phone. And it's just like, you know what? The recording from the phone, probably would have cut it maybe 10, 15 years ago. But now, you know, people want good quality uh, sounds, clear pictures and stuff like that. And so you got to step up your game if you want to be a YouTuber and get monetized. And so my uh, first paycheck or the first, I, you know, with YouTube, you have to have a hundred dollar minimum in order for you to withdraw. So I'm just thinking back maybe when I got for, uh, monetized, I, I know it, it was maybe like 13 bucks or whatever like that. 30 if lucky. And I was happy. I was like, okay, cool. I'm on the platform. 
I'm be I'm I could be able to uh, you know monetize after people watch my videos and stuff like that. And but at the same time too, I was paying thirty, forty, fifty dollars for one video to make two, three dollars off of it. You know, and the math with it wasn't working. So finally, you know, I save up. I got the camera, and uh, I started. I, I honestly I didn't even I I was lagging because I had some other issues with buying a house and things like that and so YouTube was always in the back burner again you know only until I got ripped off with the house in Cambodia then I started going on YouTube to talk shit you know and you'll see it from my other videos about there's like you know you'll start seeing the changes like man you know what I start not giving a fuck no more and and I was like I don't even care no more you know so I just picked up the camera and started, you know, just, you know, just fuck it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say whatever I want to say on YouTube, you know, how I felt like, and, uh, yeah, you know, like one of, one of the, uh, one of the viewers that I deleted, he's like, man, he saw my video. He saw, he was watching six of my videos. He said, man, you were in the same shirt and, uh, you know, the same in, in those videos, man. So I was like, I didn't want to argue with them. I just, you know, delete them off my channel. You know, I, did, I at that time I didn't want the audience, the world to know, like, hey man, this guy's living in his car. So, so like I said, I mean, if you get new to my channel, you know, I was pretty much doing videos about me living in the car, and here's the the setup. So, you know, I couldn't I couldn't hide. You know, I couldn't hide what I, you know, I couldn't hide myself from the public. They were catching on like crazy, man. They, I rode my car and I was trying to take some videos, you know, of streets and stuff like that. And people was like, man, comedy, man, your, your windows cracked. And fuck, dude, I couldn't hide shit, dude. People are picking up like, man, your check engine light is on and, and all that. And then I was like, you know, fuck it, man. That's when I just like, fuck it. I'm going to just be myself and whoever watch, watches, whoever doesn't, doesn't, I don't really give a shit, man. So. Let me go ahead and show you. Like I said, I, I don't cap on my channel, man. Uh, there's no need to me to put the fake front of, you know, um, this and that or whatever like that, man. I just tell it like it is. If you like it, cool. If you don't, you don't. I don't really give a shit, you know. I'm already homeless, so here's what you came for, okay, guys? So this is the biggest uh, paycheck that I ever probably will receive in YouTube. And so, like I said, uh, I think the month before, I only made about 200 bucks because um, I wasn't, I was busy delivering food. I wasn't really into it, right? And so when I started getting more attraction with people and stuff like that, you know, higher uh, subscribers and and higher views with the topics that I'm talking about, I'm at $1,144 for the month. I'll show you. So, like I said, no capping. I don't know whether it's clear or not. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, man, the camera is, you know, you just, I'm, I'm showing to you guys, man, for this past 28 days, I'm at $1,144.83. The most I have ever made on YouTube. Now, don't think this is all like money that's coming back to you. You know, I spent a lot of time and effort to get there. The main priority that I'm telling you is there is it's just a start. I haven't even put 30, 40% of my time onto my YouTube channel, you know? And so this is like a wake up call to all the people, the ghetto kids and people in the projects and people like with, you know, that was struggling like me, like, Hey, this is an opportunity for you to, you know, make that type of money. And I'm going to be honest with you guys right now, man. It's going to be a point where people that is supporting me with whatever that I'm doing that sees my cause, my donation is going to be more than what YouTube pays me in ad revenue. Uh, I think right now, in terms of donation for the past three weeks, I think I'm like at $500. I mean, it, like I said, it, 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 it changes because, you know, YouTube, when they do the super thanks, they take a 30% cut. Uh, you know, if it's a hundred dollars, they're taking thirty dollars of it. So, like I said, it changes. But the thing is, it's like I 
building an audience and this and, and it's like you know other people are finally starting to uh see my channel is trending and so like i think um you know i i'm telling my audience like i do food delivery and the 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 income has gone from 450 a week to 240 to like 200 and yesterday monday i didn't even get one single order and so now it's like you know what i i don't even care no more i'm, I'm getting to the point where like you know what I'm gonna to try to be like a full to a full time homeless YouTuber, just as long as my audience has support me, and I have enough funds to travel to like Cambodia, to Vietnam, to China, to whatever, and you know make content on what of uh, of what people I, I make content for people like like myself that's been just put away or no one talks about you know, and it's like. I talk about my Cambodian identity and uh, what's it called? Other races that doesn't have it on the media, you know, targeting like probably Asian Americans and then talking about street hood, something that I know about, like I live in LA, so I got to know the street politics. I might not be an expert in certain like black gangs, Mexican gangs, whatever like that, but I, I'm willing to learn and show the world, you know, LA politics or even like San Francisco politics, whatever that is like something that has to do with the street, uh, street life is something I know. And man, like I said, guys, this is, this is an eye changing moment. This is that wham, bam, like freaking eye opening moment for me after one year of being monetized on YouTube. And like I said, there's more than just one platform. You could go to Facebook. You could go to TikTok. It's just, I don't know those platform yet. I just got started on YouTube and that's what I learned. And that's what I'm, I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and push uh, more content. More, and let me go ahead and, cause I'm familiar with uh, YouTube. Like the same thing. I'm, I'm familiar with the streets of Long Beach. I went to San Gabriel Valley. I was lost. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say, what to do, you know? So it's like stick with what you know and learn. Man, like I said, folks, I don't know, man. If it, if you guys have any questions, you know, just if you want to become a YouTuber, uh, learn how to get the subscribers, um, what's it called? Get monetized. Your biggest, hardest part is going to be monetization. I mean, not monetization, but the hours. You need 4,000 watch hours to get onto the YouTube uh, partner program. And that was the hardest part. I mean, it's a subscriber. Man, I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you guys what I did as uh, to get my subscriber. And uh, so, you know, I was telling you guys, I deliver food for people, right? So sometimes people will say, meet at the door. And I'm like, okay, cool. This is my potential chance to react, to, con to you know, interact with the potential uh, viewer. And like I said, I was taking risks, you know, I like, I, I don't give a shit no more, man. I, I was going to do whatever, man. And, uh, so I was delivering a food order to one of the person that ordered on the food app and, uh, you know, he's going to meet outside the apartment, whatever. And I parked and I went there. I got my phone ready. I was like, I already knew I got this app or I got this, this thing that he could just take a picture and it goes straight to my, uh, uh, YouTube channel. So, you know, like I said, man, I didn't give a shit. I was like, hey, man, you know what? Uh, you watch YouTube? He goes, yeah. I said, man, you know what? I'm a I'm a YouTuber myself trying to trying to make it, man, trying to get onto this thing, man. Do you mind if you uh, subscribe to my channel? You know, it's like, yeah, it's cool. You know, what what is it about and all that stuff? It's like, you know, la, la, la. It's about food. It's about street life, la, la, la. Cool. He, I got a subscriber. And, uh, you know, I gave him his food. I was on my way. And I, and I just kept on doing that with anybody that I was going to be able to meet even the people at the work place that I saw, you know, that I was picking up. I hit them up too. I was like, you know what? Please subscribe, man. So that's how I got the uh, 1000 subscriber at first because my video sucked. I'm going to tell you. And so when I went back to hang out at the place waiting for the next food delivery, I saw what I never really saw before after delivering food to people. The guy not only subscribed to my damn YouTube channel, he gave me a $25 tip to help me push, you know? And like I said, 
you guys like we can um and you know the poor folks that is trying to get onto the platform and this and that it's like you got to do something different than the ordinary because damn the stupid sun is in my eyes and everything but um yeah folks it's a life-changing moment for me it's 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 crazy uh I, I see more and more opportunities. Like I said, this is like the first month that I really started pushing after, you know, one year. And you, you know, you guys see, I showed to you guys already, $1,144 in YouTube revenue. That hasn't even included like the $500 donations that I've been getting, man. I, right now, I think I'm the highest paid homeless person in Los Angeles County. I'm a I'm a I'm gonna change my title pretty soon to the uh, the homeless YouTube king. Food. All right, folks, man. I think that's enough for you guys, man. Like I said, if you guys need some help, I'm gonna hear about helping people trying to get what I you know get out of the situation they're at, and uh, you guys need help with you know guidance on how to get monetized on YouTube. Just go down there. I got a Facebook uh, page that you can send me a message and we'll go back and forth and try to figure this out, man. But, you know, it's one love to this whole world, man. Everybody's got to go out and get this money on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, whatever. All right, folks, peace out.